The Autobiography of an Execution by David R. Dowell, published in 2010, explores into the world of prisons, judges, execution chambers, and the experiences of death row inmates. Through this true crime narrative, Dow sheds light on an often overlooked aspect of society, exploring the complexities of the death penalty and the perspectives of those involved, including religious justices and lawyers who support capital punishment. The book brings to the forefront the immense gravity surrounding decisions that determine the life or death of individuals. Drawing from his experience representing over 100 death row inmates over two decades, Dow starts by examining current trends related to the death penalty. He highlights the decline in public support for capital punishment and shares statistics from the Death Penalty Information Center, revealing that 88% of presidents from top academic criminological societies do not believe it effectively deters murder. He notes that, at the time of publication, the number of death sentences was at its lowest, since the Supreme Court reinstated the death penalty in 1976. Dow also mentions the American Law Institute's discontinuation of its work on capital punishment due to significant challenges in ensuring a minimally adequate system for administering the death penalty. The author then delves into the issues surrounding the death penalty, addressing concerns such as lengthy appeals processes, high costs, racial biases, and the unsettling realization that innocent people may be executed. He references the work of the Innocence Project, which had helped exonerate 17 individuals on death row through DNA evidence at the time of writing. Dow highlights the disproportionate number of executions carried out in Texas, a state with a small percentage of the population but a significant share of state-sanctioned killings. He also cites the Criminal Justice Project of the NAACP, which reported that in cases resulting in the death penalty, 78% of the victims were white. Through the autobiography of an execution, Dow provides readers with a thought-provoking exploration of the death penalty raising questions about its effectiveness, fairness, and potential for irreversible errors. The book underscores the importance of critically examining and reevaluating capital punishment within the context of a justice system that strives for equity and accuracy. Dow's conviction in the autobiography of an execution is that the American machinery of death is deeply flawed, portraying it as more of a random lottery than a fair and just system. He highlights a range of reasons to support this view. Police officers are shown to lie in coarse false testimony, court-appointed lawyers often fail in their duties, juries unquestioningly trust expert witnesses they have never met, and judges and appeals courts often avoid taking responsibility for critical decisions. Dow also criticizes the appointment of federal judges based on political connections rather than merit, leading to flawed trials being ignored. According to Dow, some federal appellate court judges show dishonorable conduct and disregard for the rule of law seeking ways to uphold death sentences despite constitutional violations. He suggests that Supreme Court justices are overwhelmed by the sheer volume of cases and are unable to strictly adhere to their principles even if they wanted to. The author shares anecdotes of death penalty lawyers who were unaware their clients had been executed, even while they were engaged in other activities like watching a movie or being on vacation. Dow acknowledges the conflicting perspectives death row attorneys may have, seeing themselves as the last line of defense or viewing their clients as individuals responsible for their own fate. He suggests that adopting a healthier perspective is crucial for their well-being 
At the heart of the book is a death row client whom Dao has been unable to save, and their dwindling time together becomes the focus of his efforts. He and his colleagues at the Texas Defender Service continue to file appeals, desperately seeking any means to buy more time. Among the many death row inmates Dao has represented, he believes that seven of them, including the central figure in the book, are innocent. Throughout the narrative, Dao juxtaposes scenes depicting the legal process and his visits to prisons with glimpses of his home life with his wife, Katya, and their son Lincoln. He candidly admits to occasionally missing important family events to witness executions, fulfilling the requests of clients who specifically want him present. Ultimately, Dao reveals that the machinery of death is impervious to reason, facts, logic, or truth. Despite this realization, he presents himself as an unwavering advocate who continues to fight against the system, even when the odds seem insurmountable.